All right, so today we're gonna add our RGB star to our display. This is a 150 pixel star. And this is just chloroplast. We get these from Boscoyo Studios. What I wanna show you is that we've numbered the pixels here. So number one, you can see right here, is um, where the controller comes in. And then we've run these together and then I've just written the pixel numbers on here because what we're going to do is we're going to use Excel and we're going to build a map of where all these pixels are and then we're going to upload it into X Lights and that's going to be how you'd create any custom model in X Lights. But you can see I just went ahead and wrote them on pencil and this is for illustration purposes. It actually made mapping this very easy as well. So next let me show you uh, the Excel sheet here that we use to uh, build our model. All right, so what we've done is created an Excel sheet of a map of where our pixels are. So you can see I just created um, just little darkened boxes, and then you can see this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. That corresponds to the pixels that I wrote on the star. So if you come over here and look at the star itself that we used, you can see right here is 43. That's equivalent to this pixel over here. 44 and 42 are these guys, etc. So it's not a perfect picture of what the star looks like, but it's pretty close. So if you had a, a custom model of some sort, you could just draw that the best that you can in Excel, put the pixel numbers in there, and then what we can do is uh, import it into X Lights. So in X Lights, in your layout tab, this button is to create a custom model. And we're hanging this star above our garage. So I'm going to name it 150 RGB star. And then in here you can see model data. I can type in uh, a bigger grid here. But you can see it basically looks a lot like an Excel sheet and you can expand this as you want. So what we're going to do is actually cut and paste our Excel data into this sheet. So we're going to highlight it all. We don't want to catch anything that we don't want. And then it's just a copy. And you do have to hit the paste button here. And what that did was put that picture of that star into this grid into X lights. And then we hit OK. And you can see it actually rendered uh, a pretty good representation of what the star is going to look like or does look like. So I can resize this a little bit and this is going to live right here in the garage. And now we have our pixel star already mapped. Our start channel is 1. This is getting plugged into output 1. And so if you remember in our setup, output 1 is channel 1 to 510. So this actually becomes 1 to channel 450 because again it's 150 pixels and it goes out to uh, times three uh, channels per pixel, so that's 450. Now the other thing we want to do on this model is on our dimming curve, we want to calm this down a little bit. We want to be about 50%. And the reason is that we have 150 pixels here and at full on bright white, that's gonna be about five and a half, six amps of power and the Pixlite controller has a five amp fuse. The wire we used, 18 gauge wire, is five amp wire. So we certainly don't wanna pull more draw than that. So we're gonna back the brightness down to half. So that's gonna get us closer to three amps, two and a half, three amps of uh, output. So it's a much safer uh, way to do this. And then um, it's also probably not gonna make that much difference of how the star looks at, at night. Pixels are pretty bright. So even at half brightness, we should be okay. So we're going to click OK and we're going to save our model and then we're going to save. So that's kind of how you would uh, add that in and then if we uh, went over into uh, create a new sequence now you would see that right here is our star again. So we could actually start adding effects and everything in there. So we'll add in some quick and simple effects and then we'll uh, run through how we actually uh, set up the star outside and see how it looks.
All right, so we've got our star. It's just wired up, uh, tied up to the vent that's up on the roof. That's running just a quick little uh, sequence that I put in. Again, I'll caution folks when you're running things like this that are 50% power. I didn't change that in the controller, only in the software. So just be real cautious running test modes off your board or you'll uh, blow a fuse. Um, but anyway, it's wired up there. I've got an 18 gauge wire coming off. This is 150 pixels running with no uh, power injection. And it just comes down the roof and into our garage, into our uh, fixed light controller that's inside this door. Um, now that I know that it's working, I'll go back and probably hide this wire in the soffit a little bit better so it just looks a little bit nicer. But uh, basically, that's that's all we did to uh, get the star up. This is, again, 150 pixels, about three feet wide, no power injection. And, um, but I've got X-Lights telling it to run at 50% uh, of power. So we'll wait till uh, nightfall here in a little bit and take another uh, look at it at night. Right, we got our star lit up and everything seems to be working just fine. If you have any questions about how we did this or any of our products, feel free to uh, just leave a comment down below.